Lord, he's dead! The master's dead! Well then, Frumple, that was quite the case, wasn't it? Oh, indeed so. Already made the evening edition, don't you know? I picked up a copy when I went to buy the boat ticket. We'll be quite the heroes, I think. Hopefully they don't dwell too much on the part where one of the weasel gang cracked you over the head with a pool cue and nearly made off with all the gold, eh? Huh. Wretched blighter caught me from behind. Just not cricket, is it? Still, all worked out in the end, my friend. And just in time, too, as we have this party with Admiral Gilfrey to attend. Look, who is this chap anyway, Winklebottom? Gilfrey's an old school friend of mine, top of his class, went on to become an admiral, then, latterly, undertook a number of privately funded expeditions to all four corners of the globe. Ah, bit of a swat then, eh? We had no time for his sword at my school. Evidently so, my friend. Right, let's get this boat ticket and be on our way. Where is the ticket anyway, Frumple? Oh, I slipped it in the newspaper for safekeeping. Ah, do you remember this case? Hoxton Fox Gang, wasn't it? Made a mint selling forgeries of famous works of art, until you stepped in. That's right, kept this one as a souvenir. It's a reproduction of the goat with a pearl earring. A pot of tea. It's still brewing. A jug of milk, delivered fresh this morning, I believe. Indeed, yes. Miss Daisy brought it over personally. One of Frumple's many teacups. Ah, the streets of London. Fair to say we've seen this city at its best and its worst over the years, eh, Frumple? Nanny used to tell me the streets of London were paved with gold. Daft old bird. It's just stone and dirt, the same as everywhere else. Ever the optimist, my friend. You know, we really must replace this waste paper bin. It's starting to look rather ragged. Yes, and whose fault is that? And why you keep buying these straw ones? You know you can't resist a nibble when you're peckish. As I say, we should replace it. Yes, a nice new straw basket, I think. I'm rather fond of this scarf. Shame it's a bit on the short side, though. Winklebottom cracks the case. A touch sensational, but they appear to have got most of the salient facts correct. Never mind all that. What did it say about me? Ah, well, let me see. Yes, here it is. Lord Winklebottom was assisted, as ever, by his associate, Mr. Frumple. Mr? Dash it all. I didn't spend eight years in medical school just to be called Mr. Bunch of bloody hacks. Well, never mind that now, old boy. We have to get going if we'd catch this boat before nightfall. No, I'm quite vexed now. I shan't leave until I've had a fresh cup of tea to calm me down. This one's practically tepid. Oh, very well, I'll make you a fresh cup. The pot should be ready now. Ah, here's the ticket. I'll keep hold of this for now. Now to pour some out for the good doctor. And in with the tea. I'll take this. Good for the old bones, you know. I've put the milk in the cup. Here you are then, a nice fresh cup of tea. Ah, that's much better. I say, this tastes a bit off. Did you put the tea in first or something? Ah, was that wrong? 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 What sort of animal do you think I am? A most fine one, my friend. Come along, we need to be off. The ticket says we are to meet a Mr. Walters at the docks, and he'll sail us out to Gilfrey's Island. Oh, very well. I suppose this will have to do. Tea first, I ask you. Ah, just smell that salty sea air. It takes me back to my childhood holidays on the coast with Gilfrey. Even then you could tell the old boy was destined for a life on the waves. Don't much care for it myself. Went on a ghastly school trip to Blackpool, though, lad. Tried to go on a donkey ride. Donkey was furious. He told me I was too heavy, wretched fellow. Well, never mind that now, old boy. We need to find the docks and this salty Walters chap who's going to take us over to Guildford's Island. 
a number of wooden barrels, they all seem to be sealed up and in use. One of the old English kings lost his head in the Great Frog War, if I remember my history. Careless, if you ask me. A number of wooden barrels. Picking up litter, eh? Very public spirited. I'm not quite sure what I want this for, but what did I do? Oi, do you mind? I've got enough problems what we've been locked out of my own pub without having some lanky bleeder like you sticking his nose into my private bedroom. Let me in, your bleeding crooked canine. Oh, uh, hello, sir. Sorry. In a bit of a jam here. A good day to you, sir. It bleeding well isn't a good day. That reprobate Walters has locked me out of my own pub. I do apologise, sir. Shouldn't take it out on you, like. But he's going to drive me out of business if I don't get back in there to stop him. Indeed so. Quite the predicament. So this is your establishment, I take it? Indeed so, sir. It used to be my father's. But I took it over as the oldest of the litter. We do a good trade serving the sailors and dock workers, even if you have to put up with less savoury characters from time to time. I say, when Cabotum, I do hope he's not talking about the chap who's meant to sail us out of the island. Can we help you get the door open? I'm rather afraid I have business with this Walters fellow. He's bleeding well gone and locked the door from the inside, and my spare key is in my bedroom on the top floor. How am I meant to get up there? Sounds rather like your fault, eh, what? I do have a certain talent for retrieving things from high places, yes. Oh, if you wouldn't mind, sir. It's a window on the right up there. Not the left one, that leads to the old way, and we had it sealed up as it lets a proper terrible draft in right through the pub. we catch our death if you open that one. Oi, keep away from that window. Let's in a terrible draft, it does. Well, I can see them, but they're rather frustratingly out of reach. Ah, pearls for a swine. Lord Winklebottom committing common larceny? Most certainly not. I have reservations about doing this. Let me in, you bleeding cr- well, goodbye then. I say, don't you think we should help the fellow Winklebottom? My steadfast companion and colleague, Dot Original Frumple. A collection of barrels. Seem heavy, so they're all in use. Excuse me, sir, would you mind. <coughs> I say, there's really no need for that. Fears I'm looking blighter. I'm keeping well away. You know, Frumple, we might be able to make use of this saw. Blimey, not the friendliest chap, is he? Let's take this with us, just in case. I say, Winklebottom, have a look at this tiny little boat. Wouldn't fancy my chances trying to cross the sea in that thing, eh? Quite so, old man. I say, old chap, a moment of your time. Greetings, my good man. Good day to you. What can I do for you? The fellow over there is proving a bit troublesome. Oh, him. He's harmless, really. As long as you don't greatly value your eyeballs. Delightful. You'll not be getting anything out of him until he's got his morning drink inside of him. And I'm not talking about coffee, if you take me meaning... I see. I have a ticket for conveyance of myself and my colleague here with a Mr. Walters. I, I wonder if you know the gentleman. Oh, that layabout. Oh, I know him all right, but you'll not be going anywhere with him until he pays his docking fees. Nobody leaves this dock without my say-so. No docking fee, no permit to leave. I say, Winklebottom, this Walters fellow sounds like a flaggy sort of character, what? Well, can we discuss this permit? How might we obtain a permit to allow us to leave the dock? Well, you could get Walters to pay his docking fee, but that's not likely to happen. Tell you what, I'm a bit short-staffed today. 
so if you help me with repairing this ship, I'll give you a permit. Manual labour? Don't much like the sound of that. I have a surgeon's hands, don't you know? Well, what can we do to help? I can do the actual work, but I've run out of wood. I need some planks or something. Very well, we shall obtain some wood for you. Also, this barrel of tar here is solidified. I don't need much, but I need a way to melt some of it. Some way to melt the tar, I see. Shouldn't be a problem for a genius like you, eh what? Right then, Frumple, let's see what we can do about getting hold of this permit. Ah, perhaps this is the vessel that Mr Walters will be using to convey us to Guilfrey's Island. That's will hope not, what with that blasted great hole in the side of it. A boat hook, this should come in handy. Ah yes, this seems to be just the ticket. Perhaps I should keep this hook for collecting out of reach leaves. Name. Can we help you get the door open? I'm rather afraid I have- He's bleeding well gone and locked the door from the inside. Sounds rather like your fault. I do have a certain talent. Oh, if you wouldn't mind, sir. Right then, this should do the trick. Thank you kindly, sir. Right then, let's see what that bleeder has been up to in my pub. Huh, wouldn't fancy being in that fellow's shoes, eh? Your bleeding well paid for this, Walt. There's a lot what you've done. This bleeding barrel is bleeding well empty now. Get out, yeah? Keep your snout out of me business. I be leaving on me own time. I won't be taking no orders from a landlubber like you. I say, Frumple, this is the chap who's going to sail us to the island. Fellow looks like he's barely able to stand, let alone sail a ship. This fireplace is as cool as the atmosphere in here. A painting of a ship. It's perhaps not the most refined piece of artwork I've seen. Probably for the best. I wouldn't think anything valuable in this place. Not with their clientele. These are made by the finest craft sources. I have no idea what these are for, but they look terribly nautical. I don't know about you, Frumble, but I'm a touch perturbed about the competence of our sozzled sailor. Chap must be completely half cut if he's drunk that lot. Hey, get your pilfering paws off those glasses. They be mine, you hear? Oi, what is it? Greetings, my good man. Well, spit it out. What be you wanting, stranger? You are Salty Walters, I take it? That I am, and don't you be forgetting it neither. Then you are to take us to the Isle of Barghest. No, I be staying here with me drinks. I'll not be sailing today, not for you or anyone else. I say, you rotter. You have tickets, you know. Pay for in advance. Nah. Now look here, you bounder. We have tickets, and you'll jolly well sail us out of that island, dash it all. I won't be sailing today. I drinks me beer to wash away the terrible taste of the salty sea water. Hates it, I does. I'll not be sailing again for a while now that I've got that accursed taste out of me system. Ironic that a man named Salty should hate the taste of seawater, so, isn't it, Frumple? Yeah, that's inconvenient if you ask me. Well, goodbye then. Fellow seems more than a little worse for wear, thanks to all that beer. barrel made of wooden planks. It's empty. I say, Barkeep, would you mind awfully if I took this empty barrel? You'd be doing me a favour. That beer-soaked bulldog has emptied it anyway. Damned if I can figure out where you keep all this stuff, Winklebottom. I presume this is the landlord's wife? Oh yes. Handsome looking sow, isn't she? I say, Winklebottom, that fellow looks like a bit of a bore, eh hey, what? Yes, very good, Frumple. Shifty looking sort, if you ask me. What makes you say that? He seems like a perfectly fine gentleman to me. Can't rightly say. Something about primates. It's the eyes, I think. Something in them that's almost not animal. How can I help you, sir? I wonder what you can tell us about the sailor that's been slumped over that table over there. 
the bane of my bleeding existence, that's what he is. He's cleared me out. Can you believe it? Drunk all me bleeding beer he has. Very bothersome, I'm sure. I say, old chap, any chance of lighting the fire? There's a bit of a nip in the air, after all. No bleeding way. Cost me money, that does. And with that waste of space drink me out of house and home, I need to save every last shilling. It'll have to get a lot colder in here before I start a fire. Well, thank you for your time. Very good, sir. A rum jug. Suspicious, you think? Maybe an important clue. No, Frumple, I mean it's a jug full of rum. Get your bleeding hooves off. Uh, I mean, would you mind leaving that where it is, please, sir? Well, it doesn't have those a date of these thieving bleeders. Ah, oh, a terrible siren song be that. Last orders are upon us already. Ah, it was but a false alarm. You are a barrel. It's made of wood. It's a good effort, but I can't very well plug this hole with a whacking great barrel now, can I? Maybe if you broke it up or something. You know, Frumple, we might be able to make use of this saw. Blimey, not the friendliest chap, is he? Uh, no, sorry. Now, let's see if we can't get this window open. It's no good. Stuck fast. Give it another go. Probably just been painted over. Well, if you say so. Just one more. Oh. Oh dear. Well, I didn't go entirely according to plan. How awfully embarrassing. Still, got the job done, what? I say, it is rather chilly in here, what? Yeah, it's colder than Poseidon's drawers in here. Oh, for goodness sake, I'll have to light the bleeding fire now. A roaring hot fire. Gives the place a rather cosy feel, eh, what? That be mine, you great thieving scallywag. Who's off it? Oh, what terrible siren song be that. Last orders are upon us already? Just one minute. Don't think you can be pinching my pint just because I'd be looking the other way. That be mine, you great thieving scallywag. Who's off it? How can I help you, sir? I say, old boy, would you mind awfully letting us have that jug of rum you have sitting on the bar over there? Well, suppose you did help me get back in me pub. Fine, you can have the bleeding thing. On the ass, like. Well, thank you for your time. Very good, sir. We should take our reward with us. Here you are then, sir, some alcohol. Perhaps this will quench your thirst? I say, need to rip your blasted hoof off. Well, that seems to have calmed him down considerably. Though I can't help but feel we aren't really helping the poor wretch here. Now this fellow has calmed down, I'm sure he won't object to us borrowing his saw. You see, doesn't mind a bit. Now, Frumple, you hold on to the barrel and I'll attempt to chop it up. Careful where you're waving that thing. No other doctors around to patch me up if you slip, you know. Will this do the job? 
Ah yes, this'll do nicely. I can use this wood for my repairs. Ah, smell that, my friend. Ah, oh, disgusting stuff. Can't abide seawater. Tried to swim in the sea on my holiday to Blackpool and I got a mouthful of the filthy stuff. Disgusting. Well, you should really keep your head above the water, you know. Easy for you to say. My head is rather closer to my body than yours. No, I'll stick to good old-fashioned wallowing. Thank you very much. This tar is hard as rock. We'll need to heat it to get any out. Can't stand the filthy stuff. Looks like mud, but just you try wallowing in it. You need a chisel to get it off. A roaring hot fire. Gives the place a rather cosy feel, eh, what? How can I help you, sir? I wonder what you can tell us about the sailor that's been slumped over there. The bane of my bleeding existence, that's what he is. Very bothersome, I'm sure. Well, thank you for your time. Very good, sir. This tar is hard as rock. We'll need to heat it to get any out. Can't stand the filthy stuff. Looks like mud, but just you try wallowing in it. You need a chisel to get it off. This seems unlikely to be effective. I have reservations about doing this. I'd really rather not. This seems unlikely to be effective. That's no good. The rope can't get any perches on the smooth glass bottle. I've tied the rope through the handle of this jug. This seems unlikely to be effective. Since the landlord is looking the other way, perhaps I might borrow this for a moment. I'll be sure to return it naturally. The fellow's probably used to things going walk about in this place anyway. Now to heat up this poker somewhat. Yes, that's done the trick splendidly. Be careful with that thing. Don't want to burn a hole in your breeches. Right then, Frumble, just watch this. Yes, the hot poker is melting through the tar like butter. Oh, what a noxious niff. Let's get rid of this stuff quickly. I say, old chap, a moment of your time. Well then, thank you for your time. I'm not really sure what the plan is here. This is just what I need. I can use this to waterproof the repair. Thank you for that, fellas. Now I can repair this hole in my boat. First class job, even if I do say so myself. Well, nobody else is likely to. Well, with that done, I'm finished for the day, so you're both free to go. Give this permit to Walters and let him know his debt is cleared. This time. Now I'll lower the jug down on this rope and yes, we now have a jug filled to the brim of salty seawater.
I have reservations about doing this. What were ye playing at? Get out away from me, beer. Frightfully sorry, old boy. Gonna need to distract the old curmudgeon if we're to get near his drink. Oh, a terrible siren song be that. Last orders are upon us already. Quickly, while he's not looking, just pour this into his beer. Ah, what be this foul flavour? Me last beer is ruined and that peckeroon pig won't sell me no more. If I take it you might now be willing to carry out your job? No reason not to now. Maybe the Admiral can see his way to providing me with a bit of the old grog. Go way back, him and me. Shall we meet at the docks then? Aye, I'll be waiting in me vessel. Make it quick, mind ye. My word, there appears to be a storm coming in. We must make haste and get out of the island before it hits. Wait, you don't mean this is your ship? Aye, that it be, and what of it? I just don't think it looks particularly seaworthy. She's a fine vessel. Served me on many a long voyage she has. Besides, I'd be the only sailor in dock right now, so you don't have a choice. That's not terribly reassuring. Shall we set sail for the island, then? Aye, that we will. All the permits are in order, so all aboard for the Isle of Barkest. 